Ah, hello everybody. Good morning. How's everyone out there? I hope you're doing fine. I am so far. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to play that. Well, when my cursor gets over, well, all right, I'll do that. Well, anyway, um, what has brought to my attention is <coughs> oh boy mm. what has brought to my attention is the COVID-19 vaccine um, um, vaccination um, side effects. Uh, and the title of this is Donald J. Oops. Excuse, excuse me. Uh, it's COVID-19 vaccine side effects is the title of this video. All right. I'm going to share with you a website, CDC website. And, uh, and I just, I just, you know, came across a few, um, uh, videos here on YouTube of people are having a bad side effect from the COVID-19 vaccine. And it seems to me it, it is the Pfizer vaccine which is giving them the bad side effect. So, um, I'm going to, um, share with you. Now, this is, this guy here, I got so sick. See, I did not watch the video. And there are other videos here that tells about the side effects. There's a doctor who had received a vaccine, COVID-19 vaccine, and uh, him. Here, right here, Sad Guru and Deepak Chopra predict the future after vaccine, and he might not work. And I drew watching the video that was very discouraging to me about the side effects. And it makes me question, do I want to have this COVID-19 vaccine? Because, because I have, I have an underlying, um, medical condition, which is diabetes. Now, for Christmas, I know my niece is very concerned about me getting the, uh, the COVID-19. She's very concerned. For my Christmas present, she, she has given me some masks along with some filters, carbon filters, to put in the mask. And I will wear it when I go out. And it does cover, it does cover more, you can tell, because my voice is muffled. Now, I'm going to share with you a CDC um, website, which is under each video here on YouTube. Okay, I am going to share with you the CDC, and I am going to go over it with you, the symptom, and what we can do if we have the COVID-2, which is SARS-2, which is the virus. 
So let's go there one night. And let's look it over. What do you need to know? Anyone can have mild to severe system. Older adults and people who have severe underlying medical condition, like heart or lung disease or diabetes, seem to be at higher risk for developing more serious complication from COVID-19 illness. My sister, um, last month, I think it was, came down with COVID-2. She was rushed to the hospital by ambulance because she had a, a heart fibrillation uh, or, or heart racing at 80 beats per minute and higher. While she was in the hospital, she was in there for overnight for observation. She had COVID-19 without knowing that she had it. Because COVID-19 acts like a cold. And that's what she thought she had. It's a cold. So she didn't go any farther than to look into it to see if it is COVID-19. My brother-in-law had caught it, and uh, she could not get rid of it. And now I know that she had it. We can be so careful by wearing our mask, keeping our distance for six feet, and not join the crowd in order to keep from getting COVID-19. Now, I have an underlying medical condition, which is diabetes. I have a heart failure, and I have a kidney failure. If I ever should have contract is covered too. I am done for. I will die. That's how severe my underlying condition, medical condition is. Now the medication comes along, the vaccine. That is a killer too. That is a risk for us seniors to take because of the underlying medical condition. And the side effects is severe. It depends on your, your medical condition. If you are a healthy person and you receive this vaccine, this COVID vaccine, the side effects will not be that severe. But for people who are underlying medical condition, it is a risk, in my op opinion. Now, you have to be diligent. You have to be diligent, people. You can't, you can't say that I have a cold and just not look into it. Call your doctor. The first sign of a cold, it might not be a cold, because COVID-2 acts like a cold had the same system as a cold or a flu. You do not want to, you do not want to, to let it go by. Call your doctor and tell him you got a cold. You might have COVID-19 like my sister did. She thought she had a cold, she let it go. I think she forgot that she had to, you know, be diligent in order to spot the, the COVID-19. Now, people with COVID-19 have a wide range of symptoms reported, ranging from mild symptoms to severe illness. Symptoms 
may appear two to fourteen days after exposure to the virus. And people with these symptoms may have COVID-19. Like I said, you come down with a cold, you have a nasal drip, you have you feel fatigue, you have a fever, you have a chill. See, this is a sign, right? This is a sign. I'm, maybe I can draw. Maybe I can... Uh, 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 maybe I can highlight it. I don't know. Right here is a red flag. If you have chills, you have fever. This is important that you have a digital phenomenon of uh, thermometer. I have a, a thermometer and I have a ripple uh, respirator monitor to, to, to measure the how I breathe, how I breathe it. And I, I take this almost every day, these two. Make sure you have these two in your possession. So before you go out to do anything, test yourself. Have this. Now, I tested my, my, my temperature this morning. Let's see how, what it is right now. Ninety-seven. I don't know if you can see it. Well, anyway. So, my saturation, my respiration saturation was 93 this morning. Uh, that's typical of being a diabetic. You wake up in the morning and you feel sort of suggested and everything. Now the next thing in the symptom of having COVID-2 is cough. Yeah, with a cold we have a cough. We we cough. We have a dry throat, you know. Then shortness of breath or difficulty breathing. When you're in when you're not walking or you're sitting still and you're having a hard time breathing. Yeah. Now, I'm telling you, these these are the questions that the, that the medical profession have you know, people answer before they go into a doctor's appointment. Fatigue. You feel tired, you feel exhausted, you feel, ah, uh, you know. It could be many things. It could be many things going wrong in your body that will make you feel tired. I know constipation will do it. Or some of your medication. I know, I know one medication I was taking was making me feel tired. So, you had to, you had to be careful. Okay, muscle or body aches. <laughs> well, I have them anyway because I got arthritis in the back, in my back, and my ankle, my ankles are hurting. There's arthritis in my ankles, and it's been hurting me for the last couple of days, and I. In my lower back, I just had the heat, heating pad on. It just got turned off. I got the heating pad behind me here in my chair. Okay, headaches. I very seldom have headaches. That would be a sinus headache with me, if it's any. 
or new loss of taste or smell. If you put food in, in your mouth and you don't taste anything, that would be a red flag right there. That would be my concern. It would be a doctor call for me right there, along with the fever and chills. Sore throat. It could be staph. It could be staphylitis. Now, I had, I had sore throats before. I had staph. I had a nasal drip that goes down my throat because of my sinus. I had sinus congestion, which is a cold to me. It goes down the throat. Sore throat, scratchy throat. Congestion or runny nose. Well, that's not new for me. Not when my apartment is run by electric heat. Because it's dry in here, because my nose run, and my nose, and my eyes run. And then the neighbors across the road is burning the ash pine wood in your fire, fireplace or stove. That would make my eyes water, and it would make me feel c congested. So, congestion or runny nose. If anything else around you, and you figure out that it's not causing it, then that's another red flag right there. Nausea or vomiting. Vomiting. That's another one. Okay? Or diarrhea. It could be anything. It could be something that you ate that your stomach didn't agree with. So up it comes. Or it could be diarrhea. MSG. I can't eat anything with MSG in it. <laughs> Man, I'll have to run to the bathroom and have a, a poopy pants. So that's, that's what I'll have. Well, anyway, that is the list. And it's that. The list does not include all possible symptoms. The CDC will continue to update this list as we learn more about COVID-19. Okay. Now we're going to learn how, when we're going to call the doctor or call emergency at the hospital. But first you call your doctor. If you have any of these up here. Now when you enter into the hospital, they will ask you, have you been outside the, the, the state? Have you been outside uh, the country? Have you been around somebody that had COVID-2? Do you know somebody that has COVID-2? Do you know somebody, you know, these are the questions that they will ask you upon entrance into a medical facility. Uh, facility. Okay, let's uh, look over an emergency warning sign for COVID-19. If someone is showing any of these signs, seek emergency medical care immediately. Immediately. Trouble breathing, persistent pain or pressure in the chest. It could be a heart attack. It could be anything else but COVID-19. You never know. But don't question it. Do please call emergency. Because it could be a heart attack from COVID-19. It could be. New confusion. Inability to wake or to stay awake. Now that's a, that's a good one because Inability to wake or stay awake. You'll be so tired that you just want to crawl into bed and sleep. And you won't be able to wake up. You try to wake yourself up, but you won't wake up. Blue slip or face. That means the lack of oxygen to your brain. And then what happened? 
this chat, this list is now all possible system. Uh, please call your medical provider for any other symptoms that are severe or concerning to you. Call 911. Call ahead to your local emergency facility. Notify the operator that you are seeking care for someone who has had or may have COVID-19. Okay, what is the difference between influenza and COVID-19? Now, I've been mentioning some the cold. You get cold. There's very, there are variations of cold, strain cold. With me, I have pleurisy. I have, I have um, um, sinus congestion. That's my cold. That's my cold. Influenza, um, flu, and COVID nineteen are both contagious respiratory illness, but they are caused by different viruses. COVID-19 is caused by infection with a new coronavirus called SARS-CoV-2. And flu is caused by infection with influenza uh, viruses. COVID-19 seems to spread more easily than flu and causes more serious illness in some people. It can also take a longer before, before people show symptoms, and people can be con contagious for long, for, for longer. More information about the difference between the flu and COVID-19 is available in the different section below. Because some of the symptoms of the flu and COVID-19 are similar, it may be hard to tell the difference between them based on symptoms alone and tested may be needed to help confirm a diagnosis. Now, if you're not familiar with the symptoms of influenza, and you 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 are going to be confused. While more is learned every day about COVID-19 COVID and the virus that causes it, there is still a lot that is unknown. Okay, this page compares COVID-19 and gives the best available information to date. Stop the spread of germs. Now, so here are the, um, the things that you must do to avoid getting coronavirus. 19, SARS-2, COVID-2. Stay at least at six feet, about two arms length from other people. Cover your car or sneeze with a tissue. Oh, I gotta get a tissue in here. Then throw the tissue in the trash and wash your hands. All right, now they cover that up. Help prevent the spread of respiratory disease like coronavirus disease to 19. Now, for some reason or other, it's not showing. All right. Another thing is avoid crowd, and that's not showing it here. Do not go places where there's a crowd, like baseball, baseball events or football events at colleges, or in the bars, or in the gym, um, exercising, in the beauty salon. Those places, avoid them. You can wear your hair dirty as long. I'd rather wear my hair dirty than to go and get COVID-2 from these places. Now, what I'm about to tell you, 
and it's a warning and beware. When you get the, the vaccine, the COVID-19 vaccine, you are going to uh, experience the, the symptom of the COVID-2 because it is a live uh, COVID-2 virus that is being ejected into your body. So expect to be sick. Be sick. Uh, the side effects will be severe, mild to severe. And if it, if it interferes with your, your condition, your underlying condition, and it gets worse and severe, call 911. Call 911. Get emergency. Call your doctor. Call your doctor first and, and listen to his instruction. These COVID vaccines, they do act like you got the, the, the COVID too, but it's acting in, as a biting back at the bacteria. It is, it is biting the bacteria that is being spread around all over the United States and the globe. There's another strain of coronavirus that's being spread throughout the United States. It comes from UK. Be on the lookout for that. That strain will resist the COVID-2 vaccine. So this is very serious, people. That you follow these guidelines that the CDC has put out. And I suggest that you be diligent. Be diligent. Don't let, don't let it get, I mean, it caught my sister off guard because she wasn't di being diligent. She wasn't watching. She, she did everything. She, she, I don't know what she did that she caught the COVID too. I don't know what she did. I go to my grocery store and we had to wear our mask. That's mandate. And there's a risk of getting COVID too. You're near people in the, in the store, in the grocery store. You're near people. And you're going to get it. And you know how it spread? Yep. That's how it spread. You are touching things. People have COVID-2 asymptomatic. They don't know they got the COVID-2. Until 14 days after, the signs have shown that they got the, the COVID-2. In the meanwhile, people are picking up things in the store. It has been touched by the asymptomatic people. And being unaware, they wear their mask. But guess what? They touch their mask. And when they get home and take their mask off, they touch the mask. And then they touch their face. Just like this. Bingo. You have a chance of getting COVID-19. I want to thank you for watching. This is very important that you watch this video through to the end. Subscribe and hit the bell and the list will come down and choose whatever you want. If you want the current update all the time or you want just occasionally or none. And then click on like. I would appreciate that. This is Wood Education Blog 43. I would look up at Wood saying so long. Have a good day. Have a good evening. Have a good morning. And I will see you here the next time on YouTube and the World Wide Web.